Hello, Model Railroad fans. Over the last uh, two or three days, I've been installing more uh, turnout signals on my layout here on the far side. So I got six installed on the original layout. Far side, there's two. And then there's four there. So I'll show you in a minute how to hook these up to the smales, but green means that um, the train can proceed straight. So right now you see that's in the straight position. If and the, the signal is on the right side of the track. The right side is where the engineer would sit. So try to get those all on the right side. So if I change the turnout, I'll do this one. You can see how they turn, that one turns red, that one turns red because if you look down past him, you can see that's thrown. So a train coming this way can't pass over that thrown switch. So that's why the, the light is red. So I change it back. And now the switch is in the straight position. So anyway, these two switches work together. This one and this one are paired. They have the same CV numbers. I'm sorry, they have the same uh, decoder numbers. And uh, smales have their own decoders and you program them like addressing a locomotive. So uh, they're really, really quite nice devices. Pretty easy to set up, flexible. You can run your, uh, you can attach the wires and run de dead frogs if you want. I've not tried that, but I have used them for uh, these little signals. And uh, I got these signals off say Amazon. You get five in a pack. They're pretty expensive, inexpensive. I don't remember quite how much they are, but I'll include a picture of that in the, in the uh, end of the video. So anyway, this helps me keep from derailing, if that's possible. So I can just look down the line and know that, hey, I'm going to go straight. Now the other thing I might point out is these two signals, this signal does not go to this track because it's on the right side of this track. This track doesn't need a signal because either straight or thrown, it's not going to short out. I might go the wrong way, but it, it's not going to short out, so I don't have a signal on this guy. So uh, anyway. That's an update. I've done a video previously on these, but I thought I'd do another one and add a little more to it. Okay, here I am under the layout. So this is my smell. I'm going to sound a little froggy here with my throat. So this is the two power switches, this one and this one on the outside, each outside. Then the signal wires. This is really the green wood. I didn't have any green, so I used yellow. And this is the red wood. And then the black one goes over to my DC bus line. And this is the power coming in for the DC bus line. So the black on this signal goes to the black on the layout. So anyway, you get those right, those three slots. Don't put the positive power here into that slot there. Otherwise you uh, blow your uh, smell. Ask me how I know that. So that's the way you uh, wire those up underneath. 